Hi, it's Tom again, and in this video we're going to look at planning our user control. So just a little review of what we're after here. This uh, playing card image that you see represents the actual control uh, as it might be uh, uh, used on a Windows Form application. So <clears throat> the key thing that you see is the card image. Um, some things that we want to be able to um, uh, deal with in terms of uh, uh, interacting with this control is whether or not it's face up or face down. Uh, you know, if I click a button, maybe it flips the card, something along those lines. Um, I should be able to interact with the suit and the name of the card. Uh, so if I were to change, <clears throat> maybe I didn't want the Queen of Diamonds, I wanted the Queen of Hearts, um, that's something I'd want to be able to manipulate in the control. Um, I again want to be able to convert the control into a string. Um, and uh, I also want to deal with certain events, like, for example, what happens if the user clicks on a card in a client application? Do I have the, the ability to deal with that? Uh, or what happens when the card flips over is a, a unique event uh, for our particular control. Um, so that's where we're, we're, what we're after altogether. So this is the plan that I came up with. Uh, I figured that I was going to have to create a, a new class based on the user control class. Um, and specifically what I needed is a, a, a very simple control. Um, so I have my form, which is the basis of my control. I'm going to add on to it a, a picture box, which I'm going to call PB my picture box. That's actually what's going to display uh, the card image. I have a couple of fields in, inside my control. Um, the first field I'm going to deal with is a playing card object. Um, so that uh, I'm going to draw out of my Tom Cards library. Now when you're doing the lab, you don't, don't feel the need to use a playing card or a card object. Um, you can actually use the, uh, the stuff from, uh, you know, like the suit and whether it's face up or not or whatever. You can actually have the... Uh, the individual properties and fields for that if you if you want to. Uh, but I already have a class like that, so I'm going to use it. Uh, so the underlying, uh, the, the, the main thing inside my user control is this card object, my uh, playing card object. Um, I've also added to this, and this is not something you need to do for the lab either, but I've added a an orientation field. Um, basically what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to show the card either vertically, which is the default, or horizontally. Um, so I have this field to help me uh, control that. So there's only the two fields, but there are more than two properties. Um, the first uh, uh, property is for setting or getting uh, the card. Okay. Um, the second one is for setting or getting the orientation, uh, which is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I also have a, a face up, a rank, and a suit property okay, for the user control, which in turn will manipulate set or get the face up rank or suit properties uh, from the my card. So I do that so that I don't actually always have to go through the uh, card property to get to these other properties. It's just a convenience thing. Uh, in terms of methods, obviously I want to have the ability to uh, initi initialize the card box. Um, so I'm going to use a constructor for that. Um, there's a number of different reasons why the uh, card image might change. Um, so rather than have the code for updating the card image in every single instance where it's needed, I've, I've got a helper method. Uh, so what the helper method do is, does is it will determine what the card image uh, should be, and I'm going to call update card, card image whenever one of these properties that could change the card image changes. Uh, I'm overloading to string, which is straightforward. Um, and I also want to be able to respond to a number of events. So I, I, I want some events and event handling for when the user clicks on the control. Uh, when the face up property changes, which I'm calling card flipped. And then I also want to deal with when I initially load the control in the first place. So armed with this plan and uh, a few notes on how I'm actually implementing uh, these things, I'm going to go ahead and set up our project. So I'm going to put this new project right in the, uh, in the same solution that I have my uh, library in. So click on the solution, 
I'm going to add a new project. The type of project that I want is going to be a Win Windows Forms Control Library. I'm going to name my control Cardbox, hence the name of the tutorial. Click on OK. And here's my default uh, user control uh, project. I'm going to set the uh, startup project to this one. I'll just quickly uh, run it here. It won't, won't really do much, but uh, <clears throat> basically just compiles it. Um, when you have a uh, Windows control library as your default or as your startup project, it opens up a test container. And uh, what this test container does is allows you to manipulate uh, various different properties and, and see them in action. This is not um, everything we need to do for, for testing, but uh, it gets you started anyways. Okay, so to set up here, I don't really like the uh, the name uh, user control one, so I'm going to uh, change that. I'm going to change it to card box, the same name as the uh, as the namespace. Hopefully, that won't be uh, too confusing. Okay, do I want to uh, rename everything? You betcha. Okay, so now I've got card box, and I'm looking at card box in uh, designer view right now. Um, so the next thing I want to do is uh, let's uh, manipulate some of these properties. So I'll put this here, I'll pin it, make it a little bit wider so you can actually see it, and we'll uh, do the visual design. Okay, for the uh, control itself, the, the first thing I want to do is set the size. Uh, by default, it's 150 by 150. Um, I would like it to be 75 by uh, 107. Okay, kind of a, a rectangle shape. Where did I get these numbers? Um, basically, that's the uh, the native size, uh, pixel size, of my card images. Um, so that'll be a good default size for now. Next, I'll add the actual uh, picture box. Okay, so picture box, picture box. Here it is. Oh, picture box, come back. Mm. Let me try this. I'm not using my regular resolution here. That's a little bit better. So I'll drag on my picture box onto the uh, control. There's my default picture box. I'll give it a better name. So picture box one's no good. Okay, picture box, my picture box is what I decided to make it. Um, I'll dock it, okay, uh, in the parent container so it's the same size as my actual control. And for the size mode, um, I would like to stretch the image. So if I resize this control, the uh, the image that the picture box is displaying will resize as well, which is uh, uh, good for my purposes. Okay. So that's basically my GUI design for the control. Uh, nothing too exciting. We'll switch over to the code. I'll add some opening comments to the very top of the code here. I've written these before. Okay. Scroll down to where the card is, uh, the card box class is actually defined. Uh, I'll add a little bit of uh, commenting there as well. And I probably want to. Uh, add a reference in this project, the card box project, to my library. So add a reference. Uh, it's in the same solution, so I can find it uh, easier here. OK. Select it. OK. So there it is. I'm good. So now that we're all set up, we'll move on to implementing the uh, fields and properties. Thanks very much.